situation of perfect competition, whether a company earns profits or suffers losses depends on whether the price is greater or less than the average cost of production. To maximize profits in perfect competition, a firm must set its production output such that marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. However, maximizing profits does not necessarily mean that economic profit will be earned. That depends on whether or not total revenues are greater or less than total costs. That, in turn, depends on whether the prices set by the market for a unit of a product is greater or less than the average cost per unit of producing that product incurred by the firm. The equivalency of these two ways of conceptualizing and calculating profit and loss can be stated as profit is equal to total revenues minus total costs. Or we could rewrite the total equations as profit is equal to price per unit times quantity produced minus average cost per unit times quantity produced. Because the two have quantity produced in common, we can factor out that portion of the equation in both sides and rewrite the profit equation as price per unit minus average cost per unit multiplied by quantity produced. Using these equations, when the price per unit is greater than the average cost per unit, the firm is earning an economic profit from selling its output. Conversely, when the price per unit is less than the average cost per unit, the firm is operating at a loss, even though it has maximized the amount of possible profit through setting its output levels at the point where marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. For example, suppose a candy bar company is producing candy bars for which the market price is $1. If the average cost of producing 80 candy bars is 60 cents, the firm finishes with a profit because price is greater than the average total cost at the profit maximizing point. Suppose instead the market price drops to 40 cents per candy bar, but the average cost of producing and selling a candy bar is 55 cents at the optimal quantity. The firm is operating at a loss. If prices are equal to the minimum average total cost, then the firm will break even and earn no economic profit. In certain situations, it makes sense for a firm to shut down production of a product immediately. Whether or not to shut down depends on how revenue compares with variable cost, such as labor and the cost of materials used for manufacturing. It is not dependent on fixed costs, such as rent and infrastructure costs. A company should continue operating, even at a loss, if it is able to cover and exceed its variable cost with the revenue from additional production. When the price of a good is greater than the good's average variable cost, that means the firm is covering its variable cost and some of its fixed cost, even if the price is less than the average total cost of producing that good. The shutdown rule for a firm in the short run is that the firm should stop production of a good when the price of that good is less than the average variable cost. Because a firm maximizes profits by producing output at a quantity where the price is equal to the marginal cost, the marginal cost curve is equal to the supply curve. But if the revenue earned at a particular price is less than the average variable cost at that price, the company will shut down production to minimize losses. Therefore, the short run supply curve and the marginal cost curve are only identical above the minimum point on the average variable cost curve where price is equal to or greater than average variable cost.